Step 1. Place a Rava in your vehicle, either rear or forward facing. If you're unsure of which direction you should be installing the Rava, consult the manual based on your child's age and weight. For example, if your child is under 50 pounds, you'll want to install rear facing. Step 2. Make sure the base of the Rava is fully placed on the vehicle seat and adjust the recline and calf support to the desired position. Step 3. Remove the infant insert and seat liner to access the true tension door. Step 4. Locate the appropriate seatbelt path and using the vehicle seatbelt, route the seatbelt through the belt path and under the true tension door and buckle the seatbelt. Step 5. Remove all slack from the seatbelt by pulling the shoulder belt until you feel your seatbelt stop. Feed the shoulder belt into the retractor slowly until there is no slack. Step 6. Close the true tension door and replace the seat fabrics and infant insert if needed. Step 7. To check that your Rava is securely installed, with moderate force move your car seat back and forth and up and down. The car seat should move less than an inch when moving at the front base of the seat. For a forward facing installation, locate the forward facing belt path. To access the true tension door, you will need to pull the headrest on the Rava to the highest setting, then follow steps 4 through 7. And don't forget to use the forward facing tether strap. For harness strap positioning in the rear facing position, Position, you want to make sure that the shoulder straps are at or just below your child's shoulders with the chest clip at armpit level. For forward facing, you will want the shoulder straps at or just above shoulder level with the chest clip in the same armpit level position. For the headrest, your child's ears should be centered in the headrest, adjust as needed. 